What's up guys, Zach man, doing a quick video update today over the weekend. Um, look at the chart right here on Tron TRX at the 60 minute. Uh, wasn't looking very good. We came out of this channel on Friday. Uh, I was kind of a little nervous and then when I woke up I saw this huge surge, which is pretty positive because obviously we hit another all time high, followed by uh, another um, a higher low and then another higher high with another higher high. And obviously we kind of hit uh, this uh, major resistance right up here, which I'll zoom out here in a little bit. But uh, obviously we kind of went back down after that. Uh, we hit that resistance. So we've got to kind of watch it again to see if it doesn't hit the uh, support right here. Obviously we have another support. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go back down if something happens. But I don't see that for uh, happening here. Uh, so if we go out, let's look at the day chart. So you can kind of see that resistance that I'm talking about. So yeah, this is the resistance I'm talking about from January 10th is when we hit the high there. And obviously, you know, January 26th or 27th, we hit it again. And obviously the last time was back in April 29th of 2018. So I kind of went off that one. You can probably go either off either one of these, either April or May. But I just went off the highest peak of April. So obviously that's, that's a... Sorry, that is not the highest point, obviously, right here, but that's just the closest one since then for the higher, highest high to get that uh, uh, resistant line there anyways. So, um, like I said, we could be bouncing around between that wedge if we go back to the hour chart or the funnel, I guess you could say. We could be, hopefully not, though. I mean, I don't want to see this go all the way back down here and then reach, I mean, you know, I don't want to be bouncing around. Rather, just bounce off of here and then go through, break that resistance, and head to four cents, which I do foresee that happening. Uh, hopefully, by this week, I know right now, um, if we go look at Tron, we are at number eight right now. We did kind of, we did hit number seven, but then we got bumped out of it again and back to number eight. So, uh, we were at number seven, but now we're number eight for sure. So, we did beat XLM, Stellar. Uh, which is pretty positive so we're slowly getting there i could see us getting close to four um within the next two weeks right before uh the airdrop before february 11th we should be able to get there um hot holo another one we were hitting some higher highs we just hit a higher higher again uh last night uh and then lower um or higher lows too so we're doing pretty positive if you guys are following holo bitcoin obviously we did uh, go back down and but then it bounced off from the support down here and kind of went back up so we're kind of again floating around this little wedge hopefully we get some higher highs and some higher lows so we can kind of start seeing a bull trend there as well uh, over the weekend Justin Sun was on CNBC um, like the next uh, crypto or crypto traders what the show was called um, I'll post a link so you guys can watch it it's like 45 minutes so I'm not gonna like sit here and have you guys watch it that way but it was a crypto trader he did an interview with Justin Sun on that uh, so that was pretty positive. Uh, so just a little quick little update for the weekend, guys. Um, hopefully, like I said, Tron continues this little bull run, which I think it will. Um, we should hit uh, four cents incoming pretty soon. I think right now we're fluctuating uh, close to three cents. So we just need to stay above that three cent support and then uh, kind of continue up. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend.